What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the first clip of a new week. A new week of adventure. Of, well, <laughs> probably not adventure, but uh, the closest thing you can get living my life right now. Uh, but I am on my way to work. My first official second week here. Uh, I've been doing a lot of thinking about uh, the amount of pay and the amount of hours and if I can manage to get them to accept me uh, at backers uh, to actually give me a shift in comparison to working at Subway it might actually just be smarter just for me to go work backers instead since they're going to pay can, uh, significantly more uh, than Subway is Family home video hasn't managed to get back to me, so I actually have no idea whether they're going to hire me or not. My phone's turned off, so what I've been doing is I'll call them on Google Voice, uh, or I'll go down to the store. But the manager told me that the boss uh, hasn't got around to grading the tests yet for anybody, so I've just been waiting. I'd like to work there, though. I like uh, movies and shows, so it's kind of like my thing. Anyways, almost to work. Talk to you guys later. Stay cool. Till the next clip. Josh out. What's up, dudes? Uh, just got off of work. I'm at my usual chill spot that I go to before I go home after work. Uh, just relaxing. Reflecting. And... Enjoying the sound of the river beneath me while uh, chilling right here. Enjoying some half and half sweet and unsweet tea. Let's be honest, it's all sweet tea. I meant to get half unsweet, but I forgot and just filled it up. I really did too. Uh, and just filled it up with sweet tea. Oh well. Um, I was thinking about my weight loss. And I realized I've lost a lot of weight. Not all the weight that I want at all, uh, and in fact, I'm convinced that I'm that I'm gaining the weight back. But I don't really have a scale to measure that with. My arms are all dirty. Uh, but I think that you can tell that I've lost weight in the face. Uh, the downside to that is, is I also think that the weight loss is really making me think that I'm going bald here. Look at this. I need to fix that. But, uh, yeah. Losing hair, I think. But I don't got no gray hair yet. Um. I don't really have anything to talk about. I miss my sister. She went back to, uh, California last week. She was fun to hang out with. Everybody really liked her. Uh, let's see. My dad's probably moving, by the sound of it, which means I'll have to end up finding two roommates. I should just make a posting and find two other roommates. Then David and Ryan won't have to move here, and I can collect the rent and be in charge. Large and in charge. Ah. Uh. <coughs> hmm. I don't know what else to say right now. I'm trying to think. It's only Monday. I'm sure there will be plenty to say through the rest of the week. Or there won't be. <laughs> depends on... Uh, depends on... How the week goes, huh? I don't really have any expectations for the week. Like, there's no plans that I can think of. I gotta work on my truck at some point. I gotta get those four bolts off. I know which bolts that are, there are that need to be taken off now. I just gotta wait for a day where it's not a hundred degrees humidity. Uh, with humidity, uh, I should have done it yesterday on Sunday. It was a cloudy day. My brother was out there. He is working on his uh, truck. I should have gone and uh, pulled those bolts off of mine, uh, but I didn't. You know, I have got to start forcing myself to do things that make me uncomfortable. 
Uh, I am working really hard at the foot pain and back pain. Uh, like yesterday, my back was really acting up. Like it was one of the bad. It was one of the bad days towards the end of the day. <coughs> so like the last few hours, I was awake, and then while I was trying to go to sleep, it was super painful. Uh, but I coped with that was able to get to sleep but you know I'm working really hard at not letting that show while at work so far this job is actually pretty good about that uh, which is all right I mean and what I mean by pretty good about that is they're not making me work so long on my feet that I I'm just in excruciating pain I still get in some pretty bad pain but the only reason that's happening uh, the reason I'm not getting an uh, over exuberant amount of pain is because they're not giving me a ton of hours they don't give anybody there a ton of hours apparently I got offered a few extra hours for tomorrow and then I said uh, sure but then somebody else uh, needed extra hours too and they've been there longer so they got seniority and got the hours instead of me uh, but that happens I don't know if the screen's dirty or if it's just that bright out. Let me see here. I think it's just that bright out. Uh, what else? Here, let me try that one more time. I'll be right back. And I'm back. I think it looks better now. It doesn't look so hazy. Or I could have just been tripping. Uh, so, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do about getting more hours. I know that I've got to deal with the foot problem or the feet pain and the back pain because I have to work more hours and find another job. I need to start making enough money that I can actually work on that truck and pay people back money that I owe them because, you know, they be making me feel bad about owing them money, but they don't know how bad I already feel. It's like people, it's like people are upset about something. I don't think they're trying to make me feel bad, but the way things are being passive aggressively hinted at or implied or so on and so forth, or even just straight up said, uh, it's like people don't understand or don't think that I I get it and so it feels like it's just being pushed back in my face my brother told me that see if I can think of the right words I'll be right back my brother told me that uh, he's given me all the advice that I could ever need pretty much and he said it over and over again and I'm just not doing it uh, and I, he says there's no try. There is, you either do something or you don't do something. And <coughs> that's a very black and white view, and that is not the way the world works. Plenty of people try and fail. That's why there's a saying about it's not about how hard you fall, but how many times you keep getting up. And I fall a lot. I fall all the time, daily sometimes. But I have always gotten back up. Long before I met my family, I was falling and getting back up. And I was climbing mountains by myself. And I was falling down the mountain and I was climbing back up. Overcoming one summit to see another mountain in front of me and I'd fall and climb my way back up to that. And I have always done that. That's why I've never been homeless. I also have a couple friends who each of us have always backed each other up when we were in a corner. Uh, that's why another reason why me and a couple of my buddies have never been homeless, because each time that it got that close, one of us always stepped up to help the other. That's what makes them good friends, even if I don't always get along with them. Uh, it's one of the big, one of the many things, is being there, looking out. Taking care of your brother. Your fellow brother, fellow man, your friend, whatever. Uh, but you know what? At the same time, my, uh, 
those my other two friends that I'm referring to, they have nobody to look to. So that's what we became. We became the kinds of friends who look to each other for help when we need it to to try to be the friends that each of us needed because we had nobody else for a long time in our adult life. It was just the three of us against the world because we really didn't have much going for us except for whatever it is we were making. You know, a lot of people kept trying to take advantage of them uh, and take advantage of me. A lot of people kept uh, trick or lying to us and leading us on to false hopes and thinking that uh, that uh, they were going to open some door for us that uh, or for each individual ones. Like I had, I was supposed to go open up a company with somebody uh, to for veterans. It was going to be a big ranch uh, in Virginia, and I was going to be working for veterans uh, as a living staff. I was one. I was going to be a co-owner, a co. Uh, uh, a co business partner. It was a nonprofit. But that changed. They decided to open up a school instead, a nonprofit school and uh, or a private school, a for profit home school private school thing. And I ended up being a uh I was supposed to be a teacher for them. Uh for computers and uh computer sciences, just computer stuff, uh, basic things. Uh, to, for kids um, but instead I ended up opening my own business uh, but you know doors doorways uh, but then those same people end up pulling things like uh, it's just dramatic stuff I don't really want to ex over explain everything nobody cares about all that backstory anyways you guys actually uh, if you've been watching since the beginning, you have actually witnessed a, a decent portion of that of those sorts of events over the last seven years, six years I've been doing these videos. Damn, it's almost it's almost year six. I think it's year five right now. Year five week, yada yada yada. So it'll almost be year six week one. So we'd be technically on year seven. And I've actually been making these videos a lot longer than seven years. So. I just made the new Epic Pog Battle 2019 uh, video. That should already be out uh, by the time you guys are seeing this. It's with me and my nephew. It's just a one take kind of thing. It's just for fun because he really wanted to do the video. Uh, anyways, I'm going to end this vlog right here. Or this clip. Maybe I'll have something else. Maybe I won't. Thanks for listening to me ramble. And talk about nonsense but never get to the point i'll see you guys on the next clipsy love ya okay with the ultimate goal of what does every man want to create a freaking sex machine that's just like a woman a sex that's what every man wants to no i'm just saying think of it this is how we see machines what we would like to use them for slave basically doing the well, stuff that we don't want to do. Yes, we you know what he thinks. No, I'm telling you, man. Listen, so in other words, we want to make machines human-like. Uh -huh. Okay? So just think as technology progresses, AI progresses, our ability to build not just metal machines, but organic machines, eventually we'll get to a point where we're not even using metal. We're using organics, we're using biology, we're using DNA to store code. You see what I'm saying? DNA becoming the hard drives. All right? Don't you ever wonder why us as a human race, even though we weren't around, all right, all that time ago, that ingrained in us is still fears of major catastrophic events, okay, because it's, it, it's, in, it's, in, it's ingrained in, in, in what we are. You remember that guy that got hit by a car that stayed here like last October? There was an older guy. Like I got hit by a car in like St. Louis or something. I am um, a superhuman. I don't know what to say. It just looks really cool. What's ah! up, little squirrel buddy? Going on an adventure? Be careful. We were having a little chit chat together. He was like, three feet in front of me on a branch and just chilling, talking, or looking at me squeaking.
and rubbing his little head. What's up, dudes? Just finished another day of work. I know what my check's gonna be. It's gonna be a hundred and something dollars for about a week's work. So, if I make that every two weeks, and it's about $200 a check. It ain't going to be crap, but... Uh, I hope I can get back to making good money. Because I can't realistically do my truck trip anytime soon if I ain't making uh, enough money to uh, afford it. So, yeah. Yep. But I don't know. Oh, I'm kind of pooped. My back hurts. I need more hours at this place, but I'm just rambling. Talk to you guys later. Take much of it doesn't really take it, it doesn't really show up very well on the camera, but uh it's really cool the way the moon is sitting between the trees like that. It looks so much bigger with your own eyes though. When you're looking at it on a phone screen or a recorder, it appears way smaller. I got a bug in my eye. Yep, yeah, just chilling outside. Letting the dog mess around for a bit. Listening to... Jimmy Kimmel, I believe, in the background. I'm off tomorrow. Just made myself some homemade chicken tenders and a pork chop. Mosquitoes all over out here. I can't even enjoy being out here in a good evening for very long. I need to get, like, repellent or something. You done out here yet, Titan? Well, well, I guess I'm gonna go in now. My cat loves my dog. The moment I took off his lead or his collar, and this isn't the first time. It's weird. Both him and her act the same. I mean, sort of. He always has to lick it. The bell, at least. And she always has to cuddle with it. It's always been a mystery to me. I don't understand it. It's weird. I mean, it's not made of anything special that she hasn't encountered plenty of times in her life before. think she's putting her scent on it but what I'm wondering is why is it because a fam uh, a family thing for for him and her or is it a strictly instinctual thing being uh she's it, it smells of 100% titan scents and so she's overwhelmed by it and has to put some of her scent on it. Or if there is some sort of level of affection in there or other reasoning or whatnot. Because she doesn't really try to rub up against him at all, ever. I mean, sometimes, but it's usually more or less just her trying to clean him. Like, he, she will grab a part of him. Like, put her paw on him and pull him towards her and lick him. Lick him. Uh, but that's really about it. Thought that was interesting. Thought I'd share it with you.